good morning good afternoon good evening whatever at the time of the day you're watching this video this is dr eric angu monken with iem approach where we inspire equip and motivate people to discover god's great potential in them develop that potential and deploy it happy birthday america i want to take this opportunity to wish all my fellow citizens as you celebrate this independence day i wasn't born here but i have been given an opportunity to become part of this great nation with all the rights and responsibilities that come with it yes i said great nation i didn't say we don't have issues there is no perfect country However, with all our imperfections, we are still great and there is room for improvement. Together, we can forge a better union. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal by their creator and endowed with inalienable right i make this statement to underscore the fact that racism is not in the dna of the united states of america former president barack obama said racism is in the dna of this country can i say that is not true if racism was in the DNA of this country, he wouldn't have been elected president in the first place. There is hope for America as we celebrate our independence. We should stop allowing the construct, the social construct of race and racism to divide us. We need to understand that the founding fathers as flawed as they were they made a declaration that all men are created equal and for those who think when that statement was made they were not referring to everybody that was living here i want you to go back to the original document before the Declaration of Independence, before America even came into existence. In Genesis, God said, now let us make man in our image and likeness. God has already declared that all people on earth, irrespective of the color of their skin, have been made in his image and likeness. And I think the founding fathers were drawing from that. I want all Americans of all shades of color to understand that we are all equal children of God created in the image and likeness of God. That is a ground zero. We need to start from there so we can learn how to get along with each other. I have not said America is perfect. We've been through a lot as a country. There is still a lot ahead of us. However, it's going to take us walking together. It's going to take us loving one another. The greatest commandment is to love God and love your neighbor as yourself. We are neighbors. We are fellow citizens. And it's time for us to love one another and see beyond the pigmentation of our skin. Thank you. God bless you. Happy Independence Day.